Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Today I'm going to do something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, as you can see from the title anyway, it's aluminium versus gallium. So let's do it. Now this experiment is nothing new to YouTube, it's all over it, but I've always wanted to do it ever since I got gallium. Uh, but today I'm using uh, the little gallium token that I made in a previous video and I'm going to be putting it on this knife, a little aluminium knife that I also made with some of my friends um, a long time ago. But anyway, I have my trusty little hair dryer here to melt the gallium and then I'm just going to pour it onto this knife here and then leave it there for however long it takes for the aluminium and the gallium to make an alloy. Um, and then that alloy becomes very brittle. So I'm hoping I can then end up snapping this knife. Because at the moment, it's uh, pretty solid. So if I can end up snapping that knife, then that'll be mission accomplished for me. Anyway, let's get straight into melting this. One quick thing that I just realized is the uh, little thing that the gallium is in is actually plastomake. And plastomake's melting temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. So I didn't think this could get up to 60 degrees Celsius to start melting the plastomake, so I'm going to have to convert the gallium right here into this dish. Just like that, so I'll put that aside and continue melting it in here. Alright, so all of this gallium is now molten, I do believe. My only issue is trying to keep that stable while I pour. If I can just bend it up slightly. Yeah, I got a little bend in that. No, I probably won't pour all of this. Okay. Okay, so I finally worked out what to do. I put it in the little dish that I was heating it up on. Now, there's a fair chance this could be aluminium, but I, I have my doubts left to see though, so I'm just gonna leave it like this going to leave the gallium like that just to sit there and make an alloy with the aluminium for however long. And then we'll come back to see how that goes. Okay, so it is the next day. Uh, what I did was I had to heat this up a couple of times and I also realised that I didn't actually scratch the oxidation layer, oxidisation layer off of the aluminium so what I did then when it hardened up the first time I took it off scratched up the surface with this and then remelted it but anyway something interesting that happened is this right here now this is either don't know how well you can see that but this is either the gallium or like some sort of gallium oxide, aluminium oxide, or um, the alloy that I've created. Because it looks like gallium, it still melts, so it must be gallium, but it's got a kind of like yellow kind of shine to it, and then there's, there's a bit of green, blue, and purple specks in there as well. So that's interesting. I don't know if that could be the alloy or if it's just gallium. Anyway, onto this. Definitely looks like this is like fused to that um, little knife thing here that I made. Let's see if I can snap it actually. Oh, no snapping. But yeah, this is far out. 
I think I can't snap it because this is just way too thick. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Um, I'd like to get a close up on that. Hopefully, you can see that there. It's actually cracked, so that is the alloy that I created with the gallium here. There's a bit on there, right there, if you can see that. Yes, yeah, so that's a gallium and aluminium alloy that I have created just now. So yeah, that is a very brittle alloy. That's why, if you see other videos, people have like um, punched through a big aluminium sheet of metal just after having gallium on it for like a few days or whatever. That's because it's incredibly brittle. So look at that kept bending and just snapped right in half. It's actually really cool. Okay, so what I've got here is the other part of the knife. See, I just snapped that. So I'm going to actually test to see if I can snap this now so I can really get a reading on if it was the alloy that allowed me to snap it or if it or if aluminium is just really malleable. I've already bent it further than what I did for that for this part here so I can definitely confirm that I successfully created the alloy of the aluminium and gallium so I uh, said it at the start but I'll say it again this video gallium and aluminium all over the internet you can find it anywhere but this is just something that ever since I got the gallium metal that I've wanted to try and for some reason, I just have not gotten around to it until now, so... And I'm very satisfied that it worked well and I could snap this knife with my bare hands, so... Anyway, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.